Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin and this is in migrating from Flash to Toon Boom. A series dedicated to those who have been using Flash for quite some time and are interested in or finding it difficult to move on to new software. Now after using Flash for nearly a decade, I had a pretty well established workflow and I liked it. I didn't really feel much need to take on something like Toon Boom until I got a job that required me to use it. And it was really hard. I was quite reluctant because everything was so different. You know, one would first open it up and be all like, okay, the background is gray, not white. I'd like it to be white, it's easier to see things, but okay, you know what, fair enough. I'll just grab a brush and yeah, start drawing things. Yeah, I'm a professional illustrator. And, oh, what, what's going on here? The, the lines are all like pixelated and rasterized. I don't want that. I like how Flash is all smooth and nice. Um, oh, all right. Anyway, so I suppose I'll go and select this guy and just, what, it's a, okay, lasso select. I wish it could be a marquee. Uh, okay, and this be here and there we go. My magnificent work is finished. I'll just export a movie. Okay, I'll just export that to my desktop. There it comes. And what? It's black! Oh, it's around this point that a lot of people just threw up their hands and be like, I, ugh, I'm going back to what I know. But that's what I'm here for. It took a while before I eventually decided to bite the bullet and just forgot everything I knew about animation prior to Flash and learnt it all again from scratch, from the ground up. It was well worth it in the end, but took much longer than it otherwise could have. Now that I've got several years under my belt in Toon Boom as well, I've realized that it is possible to kind of translate Flash methods and that way of thinking uh, as long as it's taught properly. So my goal is to kind of help ease the pain and make switching to Toon Boom one of the best decisions you have ever made. But first things first, we need to talk about choosing a product because there's several different types of Toon Boom. Which one do you want? The lowest end one is called Toon Boom Studio. I've been working on a series for that, like just learning everything from the absolute basics. And it's the closest equivalent that these guys have to Flash. It's got all the same kind of similar features, but arranged a little bit differently and doesn't tend to crash quite as much. But I'd mainly only recommend it if you're getting into animation for the first time. If you're trying to choose between Flash or Toon Boom Studio, I would say that. But if you're an avid animator, you've been doing this for a long time and you're deciding, okay, now it's time to take this a bit more seriously. Uh, I highly recommend Animate Pro. And that's because it tends to be the best balance between power and price. Uh, the topmost end one, Harmony, is like the leap there in cost is quite extraordinary for only like a handful of features that really aren't that important and you're probably not going to use. Uh, whereas the difference between Animate and Animate Pro, it's not that big of a price difference, but what you gain in Animate Pro is just insane. Like it suddenly leaps into After Effects levels of what you can make visually with, with different effects and compositing techniques. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, but if you have Animate or Harmony, most of this stuff should be exactly the same. Uh, the interface is no different. They just kind of add more things onto it. Whereas Studio does tend to look a bit different and run a little bit differently. So let's jump right in.